Good afternoon, I am Jinjin Lin from Toyohashi University of Technology. In this presentation, I will introduce CLEAR as a new instructional design model developed by me. Kids were scared of uh, exams, while adults are scared of uh, deadlines. Exams are based on remembering things. Deadlines are based on creating things. Yet there's a gap between these two realities formed, one in schools, one in societies. We're not quite preparing our students for the future employment in a very creation tasks based society. I guess that is one of the reasons why our students are sitting in classrooms pretty bored and distracted, because they don't see their learning to be meaningful, connected to the reality, not to mention this learning will inform and help them to shape a better reality in the future. That is why we need to introduce creation activities into our classrooms so that students will feel more connected to reality and they will be very actively engaging with the learning experience. The CLEAR framework promotes the adult reality and positions creation as the core of the learning experience. The abstract knowledge is facilitated to form its shape in student creations. It is a series of educational events that a teacher can easily integrate into an online classroom. It starts with create, which is to inform learners that they will need to create a tangible or digital output throughout the class as part of the assessment. The creation assessment is actually carefully designed by teachers like a map. It will guide students to acquire must know content in the course. As for those more demanding students, uh, and bonus learning materials will be given so that they can extend their learnings. As the fourth step, students will apply what they have learned to the assigned creation tasks. Finally, students will be tested to see how much they have remembered from the course. The spirit of CLEAR framework is we create to remember instead of we remember to create. The CLEAR model is in contrast with the six categories of cognitive processes in the Bloom's taxonomy which starts with a cognitively easier process such as remembering and uh, end with cognitively more complex processes such as evaluating and uh, creating. The taxonomy was uh, um, revised in 2001 and used the more intuitive verbs such as remember, understand, apply, analyze, evaluate, and create. Um, to convey the six cognitive processes um, presented in the taxonomy. However, my personal observation is that for an adult learner, you don't need to wait until you finish all lower levels of co cognitive activities in order to apply the um, higher level of uh, cognitive activities. In fact, um, it works, for instance, for me better that I start creating something, for instance, creating this uh, uh, presentation in order to organize my thoughts, organize my thinking, and uh, convey my learning progress. And uh, it turned out to be a much more effective way for me as a, a learner. We also needed to take into consideration the technology landscape that surrounds our classrooms. When Bloom's taxonomy was born in 1956, there was no internet. And to merchandise the attention of the public it was not even an idea. When it was revised in 2001, all popular social media were not born yet. 
Not to mention that we are now entering this very exciting um, digital age full of uh, robo robotics and uh, artificial intelligence and virtual realities gamifications. We need to prepare our future generations with the future reality. If you teach Generation Alpha to sit still in classroom, listen, remember, and apply later, they will be very bored. We need action now. I have introduced the theory layer of the clear framework so far. Now let's move on to the practice layer of it. At the beginning of the course, you need to um, measure the existing knowledge of students on the topic. And such measurement needs to repeat at the end of the course so that the learning progress of learners can be evaluated. Also, at the beginning of the course, you need to communicate with your students what kind of creations will happen and how they're going to be evaluated. Also, at the end of the course, you need to offer the opportunities for them to present and show their creations. As for each lesson, you will also follow the clear model from create to remember. And from lesson one to the final lesson, the difficulty level of each lesson will increase. As a result of such a practice, in the end of the course, you will have a template course, which closely follows the clear model. You can reuse it in the future iterations of this course. You can copy and share it with others. Others can modify it for their own classroom usage. It's perfect as a training method to simplify the um, faculty development programs because all the training will take place when teachers are redesigning or designing from scratch their classes. Clear model is very simple to use, very understandable. It combines the theory and practice guide in one model and it brings the basic goal of helping students to remember to this instructional process and introduces the creation-based learning experience so that students can be more connected to reality and more prepared for future reality. I'm now doing some ongoing work to validate the model against the literature, um, consulting um, award-winning teachers to see how feasible this model can be. And I'm also running an online experiment to um, evaluate the effectiveness of it. Further work on this um, theory can be found on the website of the project here, as you can see on the screen. Thank you very much for your attention. If you have any questions now, please do not hesitate to address it so we can discuss it further. I hope that the CLEAR framework will also benefit your research and uh, teaching practice. Thank you very much.